Our lesson I'm going to show you all how to play a really nice classic country intro and also we're going to look at some nice fills that you can add to your rhythm guitar to make it sound a little bit fancier. Everything we're going to be looking at today is going to be in the style of Merle Haggard. It's going to have that nice classic country sound that we're going for. So first we'll take a look at this song intro riff I'll show you all what notes I'm playing and uh, then after that we'll take a look at the scales that I'm using in the key of E to create this classic country sound right here so you can see exactly where these notes are coming from and uh, after that we'll go through a couple of progressions in the style of Merle Haggard and the progressions are going to have some really nice fills that will spice up your rhythm guitar playing so really cool lesson tons of stuff to work on here Let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to go through that intro first, and then we'll just go from there. We've got the tablature for this intro right here on the screen. Let me play through it a little bit slower, then we'll go back to the beginning and give you all some good tips. One, two, three. time a little bit quicker. Okay, so the pick direction is pretty important, I think, to get this nice and smooth. See the pick direction symbols right above the tablature. The first four measures that you see here, the pick direction is going to go something like this. Down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Up, down. Down, up, down, up. Up, down, down, up, down, up. Up, down, down, up, down, up. Up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Just over and over. Then, got to look at the left hand. The fingering that we're going to use with our left hand, a little bit strange in spots. We've got to shift uh, around what fingers we're using here and there just so we can play this nice and smooth. So take a good look at my left hand here. I'm going to play through the kind of the first three measures. One, two, three. Let's 
learn up to that point. So if you saw there, on this note right there, the second fret, third string, the first time we play that, I'm doing it with the left pointer, but then we lift up and we shift and put our left middle down on the same note. So look here. Right there with the pointer, and then open middle, you're doing that because you need your pointer for the next note here in a bit. So the pointer is available now. Uh, so anyways, take one more listen. Pause if you want to work on that right there. But then let's go to the next part. We're kind of at the end of measure three. Take a listen. So let's let's break that up a little bit. part down there. Pointer, open, pointer, pinky. Still with the pinky there. And then the next part, same type of thing. We're doing the shift from the pointer, open, middle. So you can get that part down now. And you just finished up with that little riff. I'll show you that here in one second. There's a trick to it. But let's go back to the beginning. I'm going to do a recap so we don't get lost. One, two, three. So far, then next we just do that little riff there. To play that, we're, we're at the end of measure five, you see.